Arab League observers are due to arrive in Syria on Thursday as part of a plan to halt violence in the country. And that's after one of the bloodiest weeks since the beginning of the unrest nine months ago. Activists say more than 200 people have been killed in the last few days. The U.S. has renewed its call for President Assad to step down, warning of new international measures unless it withdraws security forces from the streets. Syria is already suffering under a set of sanctions. And as RT Sarah Firth reports, it's the ordinary people who are feeling the pain. It's been nearly 10 months since Syria's uprising began. The capital of Damascus has remained largely sheltered from the conflict. In fact, here in the bustling center, it seems like it's business as usual. But as winter sets in, the winds of change have begun to blow a little stronger. The Arab League's imposed tough economic sanctions, the effects of which have been felt even here. In a poor area in the suburbs of Damascus, Um Faraz and her family are struggling to make ends meet. Her son, who has learning difficulties, sells fava beans for a living, but he barely makes 150 Syrian pounds a day. It's around $3 to support him and his wife. And now the fuel for his vending cart has become harder to get hold of, with shortages due to the economic sanctions driving the price up. There are less products available and the prices are pushed higher. There have been fights over gas. We've been trying to manage by cutting back as much as we can. Sometimes when we can't afford it, we just don't eat. The economic situation in Syria was one of the areas President Assad had been seen to be making some progress, albeit slowly. But for a population that had started seeing the results of economic opportunity, now blocked financial transactions, Fuel shortages and power blackouts have become the norm. Because of the economic sanctions, people rush to stockpile fuel and gas just in case. People are a little bit afraid of the fact that water or gas might run out. And this is why you see these queues. Put in place by the Arab League, it was hoped the sanctions would force the government's hand when it came to ending the violence in the country. But inside Syria at the moment, many feel it's everyday people who are being punished. And it's feared there could be even darker financial times ahead. The share prices in our stock market, security exchange, uh, are slowing uh, down, but it's affected by some laws. Uh, for example, the increase of the capital of all uh, uh, private uh, banks in Syria and the increase of uh, interest rate of the bank and uh, affected indirectly on the decision of the investors. An advanced team from the Arab League will be paving the way for an observer mission due at the end of the month. Much opposition, though, remains sceptical about whether that, too, will bring about any real change. For those caught up in the worst of the conflict areas, change can't come a moment too soon. It's imperative, too, for families like Ooms, who are finding life under the sanctions increasingly desperate. Sarah Firth, RT, Damascus.